Today's Health Watch, would you know how to tell if somebody is having a stroke? Local 5's Connie Feldman introduces us to a local fifth grader who became a stroke hero after noticing something just wasn't quite right with his teacher. Fifth grader Paxton Schlensky didn't know exactly what was wrong with his teacher, but the awareness he did have set off a chain reaction of collaboration and teamwork that ultimately brought his teacher back to the classroom. All right, Paxton, how do we do it? Explaining a, a division problem, you know, I, I remember that, um, to Paxton. Fifth grade math teacher Greg Martin remembers precisely what he was doing when he realized something was really wrong. I could see the problem, I could understand it in my mind, but I could not get the words out to explain it to Paxton. And he wasn't the only one who recognized there was a problem. He kept repeating a word. But can't really say it. At only 39 years old, Martin was having a stroke. Went to our principal, and he called 911 at that point. Thanks to the quick response from those emergency service workers, the team at Aurora Oshkosh and the comprehensive care of the Aurora Bay Care Stroke Team, Martin's prognosis was promising. If that's the case, then time is the most important thing. That doesn't mean it was easy. It was hard at first. <laughs> As the teacher became the student. I had therapist and I had, I had homework. Math. I've been a math teacher, you know, my whole career and I couldn't do the math problems. Remember, we do have memory work tomorrow. Martin is once again in front of the classroom teaching those math problems. Should I say what I always say? Neurological surgeon at Aurora Bay Care, Dr. Gerald Eckhart, says Martin's recovery is a perfect example of why a comprehensive stroke center is such a benefit to patients. Having the appropriate hospitalists, it's having the appropriate ICU doctors, it's having the appropriate therapy department, it's having the appropriate uh, physical medicine and rehab doctors. Having all those pieces in place from when that patient meets the ER to when they're discharged either home or to some rehab facility to continue recovery is all a part of that comprehensive program. As part of celebrating the five-year anniversary of Aurora Bay Care's Comprehensive Stroke Center, they want to remind people to act fast if you think someone may be having a stroke. Notice any changes in face. Does one side droop? Arms. Can they hold both out evenly? Is their speech slurred? If you do see any of these signs, time is crucial. Call 911 immediately. As for Paxton, he received the Stroke so Hero Award for being part of the collaboration uh, right. between school officials, Aurora Oshkosh Emergency Department, and Aurora Bay Care's Comprehensive Stroke Team that collectively saved his teacher's life. In addition to math, Paxton says he also learned another important lesson in Mr. Martin's classroom about awareness. In case if their teacher is in danger, someone else is. Martin has found his words again. Holy angel be with me. But he doesn't need many to express his thoughts. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for, for everything. If you know of a community member who is an advocate for stroke awareness or has helped identify stroke symptoms, submit an application for the Aurora Baker Medical Center Stroke Hero Award at aurorabaycare.com backslash events. Use keywords stroke hero. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.